channel or if you're new hello welcome I'm Chloe and I upload new videos every Monday Wednesday Friday and Sunday so make sure you subscribe so you know every time a new video goes up now today I am going to be talking to you about fall fashion trends and essentials so I'm going to be going through some of the key trends from this autumn and winter and I'm also going to be sharing some of the pieces that I think are essential for this time of year so the first thing we're going to start off with is a massive trend this year and that is animal print and in particular leopard print now you will see leopard print all over like the catwalks and the high street and i have always been a massive fan of leopard print so when i first heard that it was going to be really in this season i was a little bit disappointed because i thought oh no that means everyone else is going to be wearing it but on the flip side of that it's meant that it's really easy to find everywhere so i'm going to go through a few ways that you could incorporate leopard print into your outfits so the first piece i'm going to show you is this dress now I got this dress from Zara last year but there are so many leopard print dresses about at the moment and this is a skater style and a leopard print dress is just such a statement. You don't really need to do much else with the rest of your outfit, the leopard print dress does all the talking. Now with that being said there's so many different dress styles out there so you can really find one that will suit your body type. So whether it's like a skater style like this or there's a lot of the wrap style dresses which are flattering for most people. Or if you really don't feel brave enough to wear a dress then there's a lot of either one pieces so either a shirt or a skirt. I'll link a whole list of different things down below on the different items and where you can find them. So I'll probably leave a few different dress styles what else I'm going to talk about etc it'll all be in the down bar below so make sure you check it out if you're wanting to try and find some of these items for yourselves another way you could wear leopard print which I love is through your shoes so I actually got these in the sale last year but I've still seen them about and these are leopard print boots from River Island let me show you so these are a block heel and they've also got a square toe and they come quite high up and then I've just got a little zip there and then I also have a second pair of leopard print boots. See, I told you that I love them. And these are from Primark. And I got these a couple of years ago. However, I have seen it on the Instagram, I think it is, where I've got some almost identical ones to this. So you should definitely check Primark out for these ones. These are really nice because they kind of infuse a couple of styles. So they've got the leopard print, but they also have that kind of like Western influence as well with the like chunky lower heel. I think shoes and footwear is a really good way to inject a bit of style or personality into your outfit. So when you're wearing animal print you're really going to want to keep the rest of your outfit quite minimal so I often pair it with like black or neutral colours and nothing too over the top. I Like I say I let the print do the talking, let that make the statement and let that do all the talking for you. The next trend or fashion essential that I think you need for the fall time are chunky knits so that can be jumpers or cardigans. So the first one is this that I'm actually wearing and it is this like a turtleneck so I recommend that everyone gets like a turtleneck or a polo neck. You can find them in every single store. I've got this nice grey one but you can get them in blacks orange, pinks, whatever colour you want. There are just so many different styles out there. Pick something that suits you and that you're going to wear. Like I say, a nice chunky knit is really nice with it as well. And to go along with that is a chunky cardigan. So I've got this one which I recently picked up from Primark. And this is just a cream, and I think it's like a teddy bear or dressing gown kind of material basically. And these chunky knits are just so on trend they keep you lovely and warm and you're still going to look kind of stylish. This one, like I say, is from Primark and this one came in this colour and also black. You can find these everywhere. This is more of a shorter length but you can get them in a longer length also. And these pieces are really good because they actually keep you warm. So it is a trend that you're going to look and feel good as well as warm. So yeah, make sure you've definitely got some chunky knits, whether that's jumpers or cardigans, in your wardrobe this season. The next trend which seems to be huge this season is leather leggings or trousers. And there's just so many different styles about, so you can really make it work for you. The ones that I'm currently wearing are a legging, so they just have a leather all down the front and then a normal kind of pant or legging down the back. Although you can get them where they're just completely leather. And what 
I've seen a lot of the shops do this season is the leather jean. So it's still a jean, however, it's just like a waxy finish. So I think I will definitely be picking up a pair of those in the next coming weeks or months. But the leather leggings or pants are really easy to dress up or down. You can pair it with something like I've done today and have it with like a jumper and just everyday wear or you can really dress it up and wear it with like a sparkly top and some heels and really take it to an evening or party wear. Now we're going to move on to potentially one of my favourite trends that has come through for this season and that is tweed. Now I absolutely love like tweed or buccal style things and I seem to have gone overboard this year and apparently so has everyone else. So this is one and this is a dress that I got from Zara and I actually got this in America in I think it was about February time and since then I just haven't stopped buying tweed. So like I say this is a dress from Zara and I've also got a couple of jackets in the tweed print and I've also got a couple of skirts as well. So I really think that it's a classy piece and obviously it's like Chanel's inspired. So yeah, it just makes me feel really classy when I wear it. As it comes into the autumn and fall time, obviously all the leaves are changing to like orange and rusty colours and that makes those colours bang on trend. So with those colours in mind, I have picked out this rust and it's also a suede material dress. And this is very 70s, again, which is all the rage this season. So you could just wear this by itself with some heeled ankle booties and have that as a really nice evening wear. Or you could wear it with a long sleeve top underneath it and make it more daytime appropriate. So to go along with that colour and also the 70s kind of vibe, I have included this gilet. Now, I love fur fur gilets and I got this one last year from Hollister. And this is just so 70s, I love it. But again, it's those rust kind of colours. And I would wear this every day. You can wear this with everything. You can wear it with jeans and a top. You can wear it with a dress. Literally, so many things. And it's just the little extra details that make you look on trend and that you've put in more of an effort, really. Now, at this time of year, it is starting to get a lot colder. And I get really happy because I can break the boots out. I love boots. And it's a really good time of year to experiment with a whole range of different styles. So I really love heeled boots, ankle boots, over the knee boots, so many different things. I've actually made a whole video on styling over the knee boots. So I'll also link that below and I'll leave a little card up above so you can go ahead and watch that one after you've watched this one. But some of my favourite boots that I have picked up recently are these. And these are from Primark and these go really well with that rust and 70s style trend. Any kind of boots you can wear with any outfit. You can, like I say, wear some heeled ones and dress them up or you can just wear some everyday ones like that. And finally, a fun way to inject a little bit of personality into your autumn outfits is through hats. Now, I know hats aren't for everyone. I absolutely love hats and everyone says that they suit me so I'm really glad about that but the key is finding the style that suits you so I've got a couple of different ones here to show you so this is a fedora style and I think these ones are really easy to wear because depending on your face shape you can either like bring it down really low like over your eyes or sit it really far back on your head you just got to find what works for you and these come in so many different colours as well, so you can get them in. So this is like a nice lilac colour, but you can get them in tans, browns, greys. Literally, they're all over the place. And I think hats really make you look a bit more put together. Another one that I picked up recently, still got the tag on, is this Baker Boy one from Primark. And Baker Boy hats seem to be everywhere this season. So let's just put it on. And I've always loved these. And again, they come in so many different colours and patterns. So it's just about finding what you're comfortable with or what's going to go with your outfit as well. So those are my top style picks for this autumn and winter time. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and that it's given you a little bit of style inspiration. I really enjoy filming these style type videos and it seems like you enjoy watching them as well. So let me know what styling video to put up next in the comments down below. Make sure you've given the video a big thumbs up and that you subscribe to see more and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!